Imagine this, you're on a busy construction site, the sun is rising, machines are roaring, and suddenly, without warning, the ground beneath your feet starts to crumble. In just seconds, a simple excavation turns into a life-threatening emergency. But what if I told you that with the right knowledge, you could prevent almost every excavation accident before it happens? Stay with me, because today, I'm sharing the secrets every construction professional needs to know to keep their team safe and their project on track. If you're serious about safety and want to protect your crew, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. I'm a senior HSE expert, and on this channel, we break down complex safety topics into simple, practical steps you can use every day. Let's build a safer future together. Why Excavation Safety Matters Excavation safety isn't just about following rules. It's about understanding the risks beneath your feet and making smart decisions every single day. Excavation work is one of the most dangerous activities on any construction site, but with the right approach, you can turn a high-risk job into a safe, successful operation. Types of Excavation Let's break down the main types of excavation you'll see on site and why each one matters for safety. Topsoil Excavation This is the first step in most projects. We remove the upper layer of soil, which is full of roots, plants, and organic material. Why is this important? Because topsoil is loose and unstable. It can't support heavy structures. Removing it gives us a clean, solid base to work from. But watch out, this layer can be slippery, especially after rain, so always keep the area clear and marked. Earth Excavation Once the topsoil is gone, we dig deeper to remove the earth below. This is where we create space for foundations, basements, or roads. The soil here is more compact, but it can still shift or collapse if not handled properly. Always check for changes in soil color or texture. These can signal hidden dangers like water or soft spots. Rock Excavation Sometimes we hit solid rock. This is the toughest type of excavation and often needs blasting or heavy machinery. Rock is stable, but breaking it apart can create flying debris and vibrations that loosen nearby soil. Always use protective barriers and make sure everyone is clear before blasting. Muck excavation. Muck is a mix of soil and water. Think mud, sludge, or swampy ground. It's unpredictable and can swallow equipment or people if you're not careful. The key here is drainage. Pump out water, use mats or boards to spread weight, and never rush. Muck can hide deep holes or unstable ground. Trench excavation. Trenches are long, narrow cuts, usually for pipes, cables, or drainage. They might look harmless, but they're actually the most dangerous type of excavation. Why? Because the walls can collapse without warning, trapping anyone inside. Always use proper protection and never enter a trench unprotected deeper than 1.2 meters or 4 feet. Always inspect your protection systems every day and after any event that could affect stability, like heavy rain, vibrations, or nearby digging. Types of Soil Knowing your soil is the foundation of excavation safety. Here's how to tell what you're working with. Stable Rock This is the safest material, solid, unbroken, and unlikely to move, but remember, even rock can become unstable if it's cracked or weathered. Always inspect for loose pieces before starting work. Type A soil. This is the good stuff. Clay, silty clay, or hard pan. It sticks together and holds its shape, making it less likely to collapse. But if it's been disturbed by digging or water, it can quickly lose strength. Always treat type A with caution, especially if it's wet. Type B soil. This is a mix. Silt, sandy loam, or soil that's been previously dug up. It's not as strong as type A and can shift if overloaded. Always treat type B with caution, especially if it's wet. Type C soil. This is the most dangerous, 
gravel, sand, or soil that crumbles easily. Type C soil offers almost no support and can collapse with little warning. If you see water seeping in or the walls starting to bulge, get out immediately and reinforce the area. Here's a simple test. Grab a handful of soil and squeeze it. If it holds its shape, it's likely type A. If it falls apart, it's probably type C. But always get a competent person to test and classify the soil before you dig. Types of protection against cave ends. Cave ends are the number one killer in excavation work. Here's how to keep your team safe. Sloping. This means cutting the sides of the excavation at an angle so the soil naturally falls away from the trench. Think of it like a gentle hill instead of a steep cliff. The steeper the soil is, the more likely it is to collapse. So always follow the recommended angles for your soil type. Benching. Instead of one big slope, benching creates a series of steps or benches in the trench wall. This reduces pressure and gives workers a safer space to move. Benching is great for wide excavations, but not always possible in narrow trenches. Shoring. Shoring uses supports like timber, metal, or hydraulic systems to hold up the trench walls. It's like building a temporary wall inside the excavation. Shoring is essential in deep or unstable trenches and must be installed by trained workers. Shielding. Shielding means placing a strong box or shield inside the trench. If the walls collapse, the shield protects anyone inside. Trench boxes are the most common type of shield, and they must be strong enough to withstand the weight of the soil. Never enter an unprotected trench deeper than 1.2 meters or 4 feet. Always inspect your protection systems every day and after any event that could affect stability, like heavy rain, vibrations, or nearby digging. Excavation safety precautions. Before you start any excavation, remember these golden rules. Always locate and mark underground utilities. Hitting a gas or power line can be deadly. Use a daily checklist to inspect equipment, protective systems, and the excavation itself. Make sure a competent person is on site to assess hazards and make decisions. Keep heavy equipment and materials at least two feet away from the edge of the excavation. Provide safe ways in and out, ladders, steps, or ramps in within 25 feet of every worker. Test for hazardous atmospheres, especially in deep or confined spaces. Gases and low oxygen can be silent killers. Communicate clearly. Everyone on site should know the plan and the risks. What's the most challenging excavation you've ever worked on? Did you face any unexpected dangers or do you have a tip to share? Drop your story or question in the comments below. I read every one and your experience could help save a life. This video covers everything you need to know about excavation safety, requirements, toolbox talks, checklists, and real life precautions. Whether you're looking for a PDF, a poster, or a quick safety talk, you'll find it here. Don't forget to check out our other videos for more construction safety tips in English and Hindi. Remember, safety isn't just a rule, it's a responsibility. Let's dig safe, work smart, and go home healthy every day.